Immigration has become an important and often controversial topic in the United States. But while the politicians may disagree, celebrity attorney and author Lisa Bloom says it's important that people learn some basic facts about our immigration laws. Lisa, thank you so much for being with us this morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. So why is it that we're saying that just generally we should kind of have a basic understanding of the law? Right. There's so much inaccurate information swirling around the immigration debate and people have questions. Uh, employers want to know who they can hire. What are the forms that they have to fill out? What do they have to do to be legally compliant? Landlords have similar questions and of course a lot of people who are here who may have come on a temporary visa or even come here illegally want to know what they can do to become legal residents of the U.S. So I've partnered with my friends at avvo.com which is avvo.com to bring a lot of good, accurate information to people about immigration law. Much of it is available on the site completely free. You can download legal forms for immigration. You can get legal guides that answer a lot of your questions about the law. And there's searchable content on a variety of legal areas, including immigration. And probably my favorite thing on the site is that you can post a legal question for free and actual attorneys in your area will answer the question and give you legal advice for free within 24 hours and you can get those questions answered. Well, Lisa, what do you think maybe is the biggest misconception that people have about getting help legally or even just the law in general? Well, probably the biggest misconception is, is that you have to spend thousands and thousands of dollars to, with lawyers uh, before you can get information, answers to your questions, or go through the immigration process. And that used to be the case, but it's not true anymore, because what we've done at avvo.com is created low-cost, fixed-rate legal services to make it easy and affordable for people to take control of their legal situation. So, for example, for just $39, you can talk to an attorney in your area who you choose. You can have a 15-minute phone call, and you can get your questions answered. I don't know if you've ever heard of talking to an attorney for $39, but I haven't. Uh, that's about as low as lawyers' fees are ever going to be. In addition, you can have a lawyer review your immigration application for just $149. Make sure that you've dotted all your I's and crossed all your T's so that you get that application right the first time, and I think that's a very good idea. Employers also have these options available to them, these very low-cost legal services so that they can make sure they don't get hit with big fees and fines later on down the cycle. Well, and I, I love that you're giving us a place to go, Lisa, because I know the internet can kind of be your friend or your enemy at the same time, especially when it comes to looking for advice on something so important. Boy, isn't that true, right? So you wouldn't just take medical advice from any old place on the internet, you know, some random blog, for example. And you shouldn't do that with legal advice either. You want to go to a well-respected site, and that's definitely avvo.com. 97% of attorneys in the U.S. have a profile on avvo.com. I have one. I'm rated a 10.0 on the site, which I'm very proud of. And you can look at peer reviews. You can look at um, customer reviews. You can look at whether the attorney has any disciplinary record with the state bar you know that could be a problem you can see how many years they've been in practice what their practice areas are so it really levels the playing field a lot of people are intimidated by lawyers well the best way to combat that is to get information about lawyers before you have that first call so that you've really kind of evened out the playing field and you know where you stand well, I love that this is going to help those that are needing the legal help. Like you said, there's also resources available for employers. So, Lisa, again, thank you so much for that information. Well, thank you, and have a great day. Don't go anywhere in the morning, Blend. We'll be right back.